Welcome back to I'll Review It. Today's request comes from Shane Anakins. Review any GameCube version of Mary-Kate and Ashley that you own. I want gameplay. Well, that's just preposterous. What self-respecting person owns a Mary-Kate and Ashley video game? Well, damn. Mary-Kate and Ashley Licensed to Drive is a game that exists. Published by a company and released on the GameCube and maybe other consoles years ago, you play as either Mary-Kate Olsen, Ashley Olsen, or one of the two other girls, with the goal of accomplishing something. Accomplish what, you may ask? I don't know. Maybe I should do the smallest amount of research and actually play the game. Wait, what am I doing? This isn't even plugged in. Create a profile? How dare this game not immediately know who I am? I'm pretty goddamn famous. Why, I have almost 20 followers on Twitter. And over 60 likes on my Facebook page. And like 8 Tumblr fans. So here we have the main menu. We got three different game modes. Adventure, Bring It On, and Arcade. BRING IT ON! Now we just need to select a character. I'm going with Ashley. Or maybe that's Mary-Kate. Eh, who cares. Now, Bring It On mode is actually a Mario Party-esque minigame marathon. First to win three matches, win the game. Yeah, License to Drive is not a racing game, it's a party game. A party game where the minigames are driving themed. And by driving themed, I mean these three are driving themed. Freeway Frenzy, which is a four-player frogger, Mixed Up Parts, a slot-based matching game, and Crash Course, where you avoid cones. The other minigames have less to do with cars, and more to do with kayaking, windsurfing, and the Olsen twins saying that they're clothes magnets. I'm a clothes magnet! The adventure mode is like bring it on mode, except there's a game board that the girls traverse. Hence why I compared the game to Mario Party. Here's the opening scene to adventure mode. We're licensed to drive. Let's rock and roll. Cool, where are you guys going first? We're planning a big Sweet 16 party tonight, and we could use some help. You didn't answer her question. Yeah, we'll need cool music. Food! That right there, best line in the game. An awesome birthday cake. Boys, don't forget the boys. Ladies, please, there's enough for me to go around. Because <coughs> 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 we're sweet 16 and licensed to drive. So, like Mario Party, you roll for turn order and traverse the board. But unlike Mario Party, you don't start off with 10 coins? <sighs> That's it, I've had enough. Zero out of 10. Worst game ever. The game has almost zero sound effects. The mix is completely dominated by the music, though the young ladies will chime in during the mini-games from time to time with quips like, gotcha, and not again. The music fits the game and its intended audience well, but sadly there aren't any tracks by Mary-Kate and Ashley themselves. Ugh, who wrote this? IGN. Why am I ripping IGN for my script? I should rip more credible gaming journalist websites like, um... Like, uh... But seriously, this game is actually pretty decent. If you and your friends are burnt out on Mario Party, then pop in Mary-Kate and Ashley License to Drive. And maybe mute the game and supply your own soundtrack. Trust me, you won't miss anything. Want me to review something? Comment on this video or on the Facebook page, and I'll... <coughs>